Um, so we have completed all the labs for the semester um, except lab 13. Okay, so lab 12 is due tonight and lab 13 will be due next week as usual. Uh, so this will be the last lab for the semester and we will not be meeting from next week because we, have we will be completing the syllabus today. So we will not be meeting from next week. So we do not have any um, labs from the next week, okay? So in lab 13, it is a very short uh, and uh, easy lab. You can finish this off in maybe like one or two hours. Um, so we have two parts in lab 13. One is you need to fill this blanks, the table. Let me highlight that. So first part is you need to fill this table, the one table which is given here. And the next uh, is like, it covers the 70% of your lab. That is <clears throat> matching these plots, okay? You need to figure out for which problem are these plots matching, okay? I will show you one problem you can do the rest of them. You have got only, um, I guess you have uh, six more problems to do, okay? This is going to be a very easy lab. Now you can do this in MATLAB or um, by hand, okay? So all you have to do is you have to plug in these values. You have values given as zero, pi by six, pi by four, pi by three, right? you are going to plug these values into X and Y, and then you are going to write those values in this column, in Y column and X column. Okay, got it? Now, as I said, you, you can do by hand. You need to plug in zero here for X, then find out what is the value of X. As usual, do for Y. That is one way, or you can just um, put all into all these values into MATLAB, including these functions. Just click on the run button, right? You will get all the values, okay? Or I guess you might do this in your uh, calculator, I guess, but I have not uh, used that, so I'm not sure about it, but. You can do it by hand or else using MATLAB, okay? I am going to um, go with the MATLAB. Use this. We'll open a new script. And yeah. Okay. Now this is for problem A, problem A. Now we have T is equal to zero, comma pi by six, comma pi by four, pi by three, pi by two, pi, comma, two pi. Okay. And then we are going to enter X as three times cos of t is cos of three times t. Okay, and then we have y that is equal to three times sine of t minus sine of three times t. Okay, so we have entered what is uh, x, y, and all the t values here. So if you, okay. 
if you uh, write this in a parenthesis, in a big parenthesis, so you, you do not have to run the code for each and every values of t. So if you write this in an array, so we call this as a vector form. So if you write that in this way, you can just run it once and you can see that you get all the values, right? For t equal to zero, x is four and y is zero. So you are going to plug each and every value into these box. Just fill these boxes. Sounds easy, right? So yeah, this will complete your uh, first part. Now coming to the second part, you can use plot function. Um, say you can plot x comma y, but you might not get the exact figure um, that we got here. You can see that this figure is actually quite similar um, to let's say, yes. okay, so this plot, we can see um, this is the wrong one because this has got a shape of R and this is clearly a straight line, right? kind of um, cap. So this cannot be the uh, plot. And also this is a circle, uh, I mean, sorry, ellipse. So this cannot be the answer and neither of these, agree? Now, how about this? Because this is the only plot which we have left out. Now we can see that it is not quite similar, but one way you can do this instead of plotting in the MATLAB is checking with the values, okay? Now observe, this plot, whichever um, they are showing is between X and Y, right? Now figure out the values for X. Now here, X is from positive four to negative four, right? The um, length is from negative four to four. So if you see here, we have negative four to four here, right? And okay, I will choose this one, this one, and this and this, because every, um, all these plots has negative four to four as a domain or as the X values. So the rest of them do not belong to this group, agree? So now, how do we choose the plots? go with the y values. Now for x equal to four, y has to be zero. Okay, let me come here. X is four, so this is x and y is zero. Okay, agreed? Now for this, x is four, y is zero. Okay, but the problem is we do not have a point there. There is no point that is touching. So we can delete this. Now, this will not be uh, the answer. We know the reason for that because we have x equal to four, y is zero, we need a point here. We need some connection for this graph, for this diagram, okay? Like we have here, we have a point here, right? So for figure seven, we have x equal to four and y is not zero. Okay, so in this way, you're going to figure out which plot will suit this problem, will match the problem A. You're going to go with the values, okay, for x equal to four. If you have our time plotting, um, just, uh, I do not have a writing device, that's the problem. Okay, uh, just, uh, uh, I mean, plot by hand. For x equal to four, you have zero, and then for x equal to 2.5. So let's say 2.5 is here, and y is 0.5, it is slightly above the line, 0.5. And for x equal to 1.42, that is somewhere here, y is 1.42, somewhere here, in between um, zero and two. 
and for x equal to 0.5 x is 0.5 so that will be somewhere here between and 4 is 2.5 so it it clearly looks like um 7 is matching 8 okay but not to risk you can plot this by hand but the problem is if you plot using matlab um you will not get a similar figure okay that's only the only reason is because of the quadrants you have four quadrants here if you plot um in the form of quadrant you will definitely see this shape in the matlab but uh, we can see that there is a similar shape that we can see right okay so this is how you need to match the graph so first thing is you need to fill these blanks you can do this in matlab or by hand plug all the values of t into x and y find out what is x and y for each of these t values and then you are going to plot this by hand using x and y values you can easily plot okay now once you do that you're going to match those values um, using these figures okay for example uh, for problem a seven is the answer so i will be writing a here in the blank okay just write a in the blank here And uh, yeah, you do not have to submit any handwritten uh, documents for this lab. Um, you can take a printout of this lab manual. Just write all those values on this man lab manual itself. Okay, you do not have to create. There is no need for you to write in a separate sheet of paper. And then um, I do not need a MATLAB code as well. Uh, all I need is these blanks to be filled and I need all the answers in the blank given. Okay, sounds good. Any questions? I'm going to stop the recording here.